Hey what's up guys, this is Darth9 and this is a Modern Warfare 2 Model 1887 gameplay. I think it turned out pretty well but part of that was because a lot of people on the other team were sniping but that's always the case with, mo with Modern Warfare 2 nowadays because uh, a lot of people that wanted to snipe in Black Ops couldn't and they went back to Modern Warfare 2 and it really sucks for me because I hate sniping snipers so that's why I'm using the Model 1887s and this was actually my first game of the night so I, I just knew that there would be tons of snipers on the other team because there always is and I didn't even bother trying to snipe. I used to snipe a lot in Modern Warfare 2 but now that um, you never see any red gunners it's kind of boring I find. Um, I think this round I only see one guy that's using a red gun and he's right there yeah so that's kinda disappointing but oh well um in this game I get I go 17 and 0 which is probably in the title of this video I would assume but um you can't really blame the other people on my team for not getting that many kills because obviously I took all the kills GFX lab told me not to post this and I said I wouldn't but I doubt he'll even see this video and uh you know you can't really blame people on my team for not getting that many kills because I stole them all um yeah so something I wanted to talk about was uh, montage standards for Modern Warfare 3 and what I'd like to see because in Black Ops it kinda ruined montages in my opinion because it's so hard to get a montage clip and the highlight of a montage nowadays in Black Ops is usually usually like a triple or like a quad feed with a sniper or something which is kinda boring because um, I don't know I, I just don't like watching the the clips with the, the bad kill feeds or I don't know whatever just I I just don't like watching the lower clip standards in Black Ops I don't find it as entertaining to watch even though the clips are harder to get it just it's not exciting personally I think and here was a huge fail I was gonna kill that guy but I fell down when I was trying to jump onto the balcony that was unfortunate but I end up getting the guy anyways and um, it's all good in the end so uh, the model 1887s the model 1887s got patched quite a while ago but uh, I kept using them well not all the time but occasionally I guess I would use them. I always used them on this class like a model 1887 only class I would never use them as a secondary because I find the most effective way to use them is with lightweight and marathon so you can um, run at people really fast and they won't have much time to react and you can strafe left and right faster because uh, when you use them on a class that doesn't have lightweight and marathon you usually get stuck in a lot of shitty situations when like a guy's just out of your range and you can't get close enough to shoot him but um, with these perks and you can you can outrun the guy and get within range fast enough that uh, you don't ever get into any sticky situations hopefully um, that's what she said I don't know um, anyways um, Model 1887s are awesome in search and destroy because I think you have like eight shells or something like that and there's only six guys on the other team so the only time you'll have to reload is if you mess up and and uh, you get hit markers or something so it's pretty nice because you can spend more time rushing and less time like um, reloading your gun um, which would be a problem if you're using an SMG or something because you'd always be reloading since you only get like a maximum of two well two or three kills probably in search and destroy since everybody's usually spread out um, with a clip and then you reload so this way you have a lot more time to run around and find the next guy to kill which is kinda nice um, yeah so oh another thing I wanted to talk about is um, you probably know maybe I don't know that I've been playing a lot of World at War lately um, I have gotten a few minutes of montage clips but what really sucks now is that um, there's a lot of hackers in World at War because I think about a week ago a new hack came out that I think you need a JTAG to do I'm not sure I, I, I don't really know that much about it all I know is that it's super annoying for me because I'm trying to get montage clips and then I snipe a guy who's invincible and um, it ruins my clip and um, I think this hack used to be around but then they fixed it and now it's back but I doubt they'll ever fix it again because not that many people play World at War so I don't really feel like it's worth me playing that game anymore since there's so many hackers and what really sucks is like if I back out of a game with the with the guy with god mode which is like he's flying around and invincible and all this crap and unlimited ammo um, then I try and find a new game and I get back in the same game because there's not that many lobbies going on in World at War because there's not that many people playing. There's probably only like five ground war lobbies maximum going on at any time. Well, it depends like if it's a weekend or a weekday or whatever, but you know what I mean. Like it's pretty hard to find a game, so um, you often get put back in the same game and then you have to deal with that guy again. And it, you know, it's not really fun. So I've been thinking about stopping recording for my montage and just um, 
getting it edited now, but some of my friends still want to play that game, so I really don't know what I'm going to do. I still have a lot of fun on World at War until I run into hackers like that, so it really sucks because, like, I wanted to keep playing it for another month or two, but oh well. And this was another close call, but I, I think he ends up running away and I run away and uh, this the situation is diffused. But uh, that was a close call there. <laughs> my my face was all jelly and I ended up turning on that guy. That was pretty sick, I thought. So I had this idea that I thought would be pretty cool for Modern Warfare 3. Um, maybe you guys could leave your opinions on this idea in the comments since uh, we're getting close to the end of the, the video here and, you know, supposed to prompt you for to say something in the comments. Uh, anyways, um, I thought it would be pretty cool in Modern Warfare 3 if they could make downloadable guns and... A lot of people would think maybe that this is unfair. I know Triarch would think that's unfair, but the thing that would be different from um, the way people usually think about it is that they could make all the downloadable guns worse, like statistically, or the same as existing guns. So then they wouldn't really be cheap. They would just be like something new to look at with a different sound effect when you shoot it and everything to, to kind of keep the game fresh. Because I know when I, when I get bored of all the guns, I usually put in a different Call of Duty game, which is kind of stereotypical of a Call of Duty player instead of like a gamer who would put in a different like a completely different game from a different series but that's what I do and that's kinda why I liked World at War because it had so many sniper rifles that's what kinda kept me playing it for so long because there's so much variety in the sniper rifles but anyways uh that yeah leave a comment about what you think about that uh, that's the end of the game 17 and 0 and like I said the people on my team it's not their fault that they didn't get that many kills because I stole them all so yeah, see you next time, see you next time, fuck, see you next time, and follow me on Twitter, peace.